Kenny, one of your better away performances on Saturday, would you say? Yeah, we lost a few early on, which you know wasn't necessarily like us, and and and, and some games where you know we we felt that you know there were losses where nothing much happened. You know, we didn't really work hard when we was under pressure to negate the chances and and similarly then you know by the end didn't have enough shots and look at enough of a threat going forward on Saturday a different type of game where you know the formation that they're playing with a diamond but but similarly the front two were very wide and for most of the game my two centre halves had nobody to pick up which is very unusual slightly different we negated it second half we did better than first and um, uh, looked a threat and pleased to say anyway got the three points which, which now does set us up well for Tuesday night against Rotherham and a, a, a run of home games that we have to capitalise on. You know, the, as I said, the Rotherham game. You know, we have Peterborough coming up, both sides above us in the league, which you know we're going to have to work hard to get anything out of and and want to be uh, beating these if we can and clawing them back. And uh, that's 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 our aim, uh, mixed in with with um, you know an FA Cup and then a, a leasing dot, dot com game gives us a good run of home games to to, to try to capitalise on at Fratton Park. Between now and Christmas, then, do you feel that it will tell you a lot about your side? Yeah, definitely. And we look going into the, you know, the upcoming coming window as well. If we can get, you know, the likes of Naylor back, McCrory, uh, Raggett, if we can get those guys back, you know, dare I say it, Watmore's not too far away, which is which is good as well. And and then you know the right type of business. Hopefully, we want to be as strong as possible, and you know, work hard, dig deep to build confidence. That'll be one of the pleasing things. You missed some influential guys on Saturday, but went on end regardless. Yeah, and if you're generally looking at our bench, there's there's some players on our bench that are, you know, pretty similar to the lads in the team, and you want to get to that if you can. It, it over a course of time uh, brings out the best in people. Was it brave to put Ollie Hawkins back in there straight away, or wise? Um, I, I felt it worked well on Saturday. I do feel uh, set pieces, and then just as an aerial threat, we've. You know, conceded too many basic and simple goals, not just from set pieces, but uh, you know, if you're looking at the Harrogate game with Beck, you know, we didn't win enough headers against Beck uh, right the way through the game. We we negated it. We came through. We scored two good goals, and uh, we won that Harrogate game. But there's been too many times where we haven't either, you know, won that that ball from the goalkeeper's kick or or the ball from wide or, or you know, a big area is obviously. Set pieces and and anyway, you know, for for Oli, I've you know got a lot of time for him. I do think the conversion from centre forward to, to to centre half is the right one for his career. I think he can bring a lot. Uh, he also has a calmness on the ball and a distribution that I like. So, you know, hopefully he can um, you know go on and 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 you know c- c- cement really a, a, a position in the team because it's been a frustrating period for him uh, with his injuries up to now. Said to him, it's the best of both worlds in a way because he still comes forward for the set pieces. Yeah, he does, and he can be a you know a key weapon. But as I said, you know, for, for his career now, uh, where he is, I do think that if we can settle him down and work with him as a defender, because like everybody, he will need information, he will need uh, uh, building up, he will need confidence as well, some technical information uh, to be able to work with him, and um, hopefully he can be an asset for us. He was on Saturday. So you really now need to build on Saturday, don't you? Going forward, starting with Rotherham. Yeah, big game. As I said, one of the one of the sides above us in the league, and and we've, we've got a home game. Be a hard game, you know, because obviously by the end, and, and they're fourth in the league now. But by the end, they'll be up there definitely. And, and you know, looking at their squad, the power of their squad, uh, the options they've got, particularly in the front in in the front line. But you know, similarly, you could say the same about ourselves. Uh, so you know, I'm sure it'd be a good contest. And, um, you know, we've got to see it as an opportunity. It's a chance and an opportunity to build on Saturday. You mentioned Tom Naylor, you mentioned Raggett. How are they coming along? Yeah, pretty good. I mean, they won't feature on Tuesday. We, we, you know, we'll have to see in in terms of Saturday. Um, But pretty quickly, you know, uh, um, Altrinham, uh, uh, Northampton, uh, Peterborough, you know, the, the... the completion of those three should see all three of those there or thereabouts, which will be um, good news and hopefully make us as strong as possible. And Jack Watmore before schedule? Yeah, he is. He's, he's out training. As I said last week, he's out training and looking very good and very confident, which is which is excellent. You know, there are some 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 twenty uh, threes uh, games coming up that he will play in, and uh, pleased for him as well because again, you know, he's worked very hard and showed a great attitude and and. Uh, you know, as a as a lad around the place, he's he's, he's never been down, and um, you know if he, if he can get back anyway, as we saw last year, he's a you know he's a good player for us. 
And with the players that are playing currently, Ronan Curtis is now coming good again. Yeah, he is, and, and in t- you know, in terms of his goal output, that's good. He also has to, you know, I think. Um, Recap his role as a provider as well, which, you know, some left foot crosses, you know, we understand that uh, he can go both ways, but, you know, he has to keep that, uh, um, you know, I, I think flexibility to his game and, and generally down our left side um, since he's been here has, com- has combined with